What's up today, my wonderful family? Thank you all for tuning in to another video. I really appreciate you. That means a lot to me, okay? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking time out of your precious day, okay? Because remember, you can be doing anything in the world right now, but you chose to say, nah, I ain't doing none of that. I'm going to come to his video. So that means a lot to me, okay? But listen, I want to get straight into the video topic. Well, actually, before I do that, uh, I just left the P.O. Box store. It ain't called the P.O. Box store. The post office, that's what it's called. I just now left the post office. And uh, for those of you who've been asking about my new P.O. Box address, I just now got it, okay? So if you want to send me a letter, um, I don't know, you want to send me a little T-shirt or something, whatever it is, you know, whatever y'all like to do, you can go ahead and do it, all right? So I have that address uh, in the description box below. It's going to be the very first thing that you see, all right? So, yeah, let's get on with the video, though, all right? Let's get, because listen, time is precious. Your time is precious, right? I ain't trying to take up your whole day. I just want to hit you and run now. I just want to hit you and run, all right? But anyway, let's get back to the video. <laughs> listen, the, the question that I got was, uh, man, what was the question? I know it was something about why do women, man, I got to think for real now. Why do why, I think it was, why do some women prefer bad boys instead of good, uh, hold up. Why do, hold up, hold up, calm down, calm down. All right, I'm, I'm calm, I'm calm. I got it now. See what happened when you calm down? I just had to calm myself down. I'm good now. And I got the video topic for you. <laughs> the video topic is, why do women prefer bad boys instead of good boys? Why are women attracted? Man, I be cracking myself up, man. I don't know if y'all be laughing over there when I be clowning around, but I be laughing on the inside. Like, I don't know, man. I, I, I love life, man. Life is beautiful. And if you haven't laughed today, I hope you just not laughed, okay? And if you didn't just not laugh, well, forget you then, man. Uh, <laughs> listen, let's get back to the topic. Uh, why do... Why do some women prefer bad uh, bad boys instead of good boys, okay? And listen, I want to be completely honest with you, okay? Because it sounds like you're a good guy, okay? I believe you're about, I think you're about 20. I'm not sure I clicked on your Instagram profile, but it was private. But I looked at your picture, and I was trying to see, you know, about what age range you would be in so I would know how to properly uh, relate the message, okay? Because if you're in middle school or high school, it's kind of different than it is if you're in college or a grown man or whatever, but... That's neither here nor there. Let me turn these vents off my mouth. I don't know if y'all record a video with your air on, but if it's blowing on your mouth, it dries your mouth up a whole lot, okay? But y'all don't care about that. Y'all y'all ready for me to get back to the video topic and stay focused? That's what you're ready for, okay? So let me do that, all right? <laughs> so listen, uh, here's what you do. Man. There's nothing you can do to make a woman stop chasing the bad guy. She has to learn her lesson. OK, she has to get done wrong about 15 times. Right. And then she will come to the realization that, you know what, I need to change something. These guys ain't no good for me. They keep abusing me, punching me, messing over me, cheating on me, doing all this stuff. Maybe I need to change my selection in the men that I'm, you know, given a chance or the men that I'm attracted to. Right. She has to start. Uh, she has to come to that realization. OK, because and, and see what happens a lot of times is the good guy comes along and tries to convince the woman that she doesn't need that bad man. And the good guy ends up in the friend zone because that's all you good for. You know, I'm just going to be real with you, man. You know, some people out here going to lie to you, but I'm going to be real with you. OK, because I'm a good guy myself, man, if I do say so myself. OK, so. <laughs> what you need to do is you just stay focused on the Lord, right? You stay focused on the Lord because, listen, if it's in God's will for you to be married, God has the perfect woman for you. That's not to say she's going to be a perfect person, but he has the perfect person for you. So don't get caught up trying to win people over, man. Let that stuff go. If she wants the bad guy, let her go ahead and bad guy. Let, let life teach her a lesson. After she gets done wrong, like I said, a, a lot of times... She'll come to the realization, you know, and then she'll probably see where uh, it's time to change her choice in men. But by that time, you're going to be gone. You're going to be off the market. You already had you a little boo. 
You and your little boo gonna be uh, at, at the movie theater chewing on some popcorn. It's gonna be too late for her then, okay? So that's her loss. And another thing you need to realize is that God's rejection is your protection, okay? Be happy that this woman doesn't like you. Be happy that she doesn't see you. Be happy that she sees him instead of you. Because all that means is that that's just not the person for you. Listen, you can be the best guy in the world. You can hold the door for old ladies in the grocery store. You know what I mean? You can do all the good little things, whatever people think makes them a good person. But at the end of the day, if somebody's not for you, they're not for you. Right? Somebody could write out a long list. A woman could say, I want this guy to be this height. I want him to make this much money. I want him to to uh, to do this, to do this, to do this, to do this. And they can meet that guy, but still be in bondage, right? In, in terms of not being able to let go, right, from their past, okay? A lot of women are trapped up. For example, let me give you this. Some women, let's say like in their upbringing, okay? They may have seen, you know, male examples in their family or, or, or close to them or down the street or next door or wherever the case may be. But, you know, a lot of times it's in the family. They may have seen the male figure, let's say, beating up on uh, the woman or beating up on their mother or beating up on, you know, whatever, you know, beating up on the kids or whatever. So they grow up thinking that that's OK. That's what kind of man I need. Right. It's not really what they want. It's just what they're accustomed to. And that's that's what they think of, of in a man. So when they see you walking around, you know, you the good guy, you know, and, and let's just say like Steve Urkel. You remember that show on Family Matters? Man, this was a good guy. But ain't nobody want him, though. You see what I'm saying? So let's just let's just say you Steve Urkel, right? So when that woman sees Steve Urkel, she like, yeah, that's a good guy. You know, I know he's smart. You know, I, I know he going to he probably ain't going to cheat on me and that, you know, he, he probably is. He's a good guy, but I mean, uh, I'm just attracted to guys, you know, that that like to push me around. I don't like whenever they punch me in my mouth, but it's just something about it afterwards. I don't know. I just, I kind of like that. I like when they punch them. Believe it or not, there are a lot of women that think like that. It's because they're caught up in a different type of mentality, okay? So just to kind of bring it back to your question, when a woman prefers a guy that's doing bad or, or, or a bad boy, if you would, if that's what terminology you want to use, right? Just let her be. Don't chase the woman, man. You know, don't chase. Listen, don't chase somebody that doesn't want to be caught. OK, in other words, if I'm a, let's just say I got a pit bull out here. Right. And I'm playing. I'm just chasing uh, the, the pit bull around. Just for example. Man, if this pit bull don't want to play, you know. If he don't want to play, he going to run about five steps and he going to turn around and bite me because he didn't want to be caught. Now, if I go get a golden lab, somebody that, that want to play, the golden lab is going to run about 10 steps, then roll over on the ground, start playing with me, probably going to bite me on, on, side of, on, on side of my, uh, you know, uh, whatever, bite me on my shoulder and stuff, get up, jump on top of my head flip around, run around, and go get his tennis ball and come back, right? Because he wanted to be caught. Or she wanted to be caught, right? But if somebody doesn't want to be caught, there's nothing that you can do. That means that that's not the person God has for you, okay? Be confident. Be confident that if it's in God's will for you to be married, God has the right person for you, okay? Until then, you have to learn. You got to learn your lessons through life, okay? Leave them women alone. Stop settling for the friend zone. So many people would just settle for the friend zone. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you're not no counselor. You're not a guidance counselor. By all means, you can help people out. But don't be that guy that's just on the phone with the woman all the time, just, just, just trying to convince her of why she shouldn't talk to this guy or, or, or bad talking, you know, the guy she's with. Man... If she's still with the person, let, let her be with the person, okay? Because all that's going to, man, listen, even if you do talk her out of that bad guy and you get with her, he's going to always be in the picture because the same way you get him is the same way you lose him. So if you got her by, if you, well, hold up, hold up a second. Let me calm down. Let me, let me close my eyes a little bit. All right, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> listen, if you, if you got her... <laughs> 
Y'all so crazy, man. I see you over there laughing. I see you over there smiling. But anyway, let's get back to the video. So if you got her while she was in a relationship, chances are somebody's gonna come take her, somebody's gonna come take her from you while you're in a relationship with her. Because the way you got her is the same way you lose her. So you wanna approach a woman when she's single, right? You don't want to approach a woman when she's in a relationship. <laughs> Let her go on with the bad guys, man. That's what she like. There's nothing you can do about it. Don't, But don't go around here trying to punch on people and push people, trying to turn yourself into a bad guy just so you can attract a certain kind of woman. Because listen, that's not you. That's not you. If you're an apple, be an apple. If you're a banana, be a banana. In other words, if you got an apple right here and a banana right here, if you're an apple, stop trying to look like a banana. You don't paint it yourself yellow. You don't twist it sideways. You know you don't. You don't. You trying to look. You trying to look just like a banana. Well, guess what? What you gonna do when somebody come and they look? They looking for the apple. They can't find you because you over here bent sideways trying to look like a banana. But if you humble yourself and be patient and be your apple, when God sends that person into your life, they'll say, "That's an apple. That's what. That's what I'm looking for." And everything all makes sense. But don't be over here bent sideways trying to look like a banana. You know what I mean? The right person God has for you, y'all will eventually meet. But for right now, let the girl, you know, let life teach her a lesson. You know, it, that's just how it is sometimes, you know. It is what it is. You know, like I always tell you, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Okay. But you keep on doing the right thing. Don't settle for the friend zone. It's, it's all or nothing, man. You know, if, if, if you like the person, you want to pursue the person, then do it. But ain't no point in sitting in the friend zone, you know. <laughs> and then she go back to the bad guy eventually. And you get your little heart broke. And you be running around here with a little snotty nose, eating apple juice all day, drinking on soup all day, watching Lifetime movies with your little nose running. I can't believe she broke my heart. Hey, I'm here to, I'm here to save you the heartbreak. Don't get in that friend zone because you'll get a friend. I mean, you'll get a heartbreak from a friend zone. That's even worse. Okay. But that's a whole nother video and a whole nother topic. So once again, just to kind of recap, if that's the kind of uh, man she want, let her, let her go after that. Okay. You focus on who you want. You don't want nobody that's going after the wrong person. You want the right person. You want the person God has for you. Okay. I love you. Thank you for tuning in to another video. I hope I have I hope I helped you out with this uh with this video, man. For real. I really hope that I answered your question. Uh give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> that way we can stay connected. We can have fun together. And most importantly, we can grow closer to God together. I love you. I'll talk to you in the next video. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it.